So where are you from, my fuzzy angel? Dude, I'm a cat. Well, nobody's perfect. Oh my god! There's no reason to animate a cat's butthole. Like, come on, please! Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this, dude? The secret life of pets is... Greedy trash. This is coming from someone who actually loved the movie when it first came out, and I thought Gidget was super cool. I even have a Gidget Plus right there. Like, I'm not a hater. I even went to Universal for the secret life of pets. And bitch, I am broke. I'm smart with my money, but that costs a lot of money. Let's not lie now. So yeah, this is coming from someone who is somewhat invested in the movie and in the franchise. And I gotta say, the movie's just trash. Like, once I saw it with a critical lens, I saw how bad it truly was. Take us with you. I don't think so. Pets. Yeah, you got the stench of domestication all over you. You chose your side. And now you're going to burn. No. Kevin Hart's comedy throughout this whole movie is so hit or miss, which majority of it is misses. But it's so funny because he's one of the only factors that keep you coming back to the movie. He's the only thing that has any real fun or substance in this movie. The movie released July 8th, 2016, and you wouldn't be able to tell if it's from the early 2000s because it's this it's the same bland shit that like open season Alpha and Omega a lot of these other movies kind of use it's so bland it's not stylized and it's it's painful to watch when you compare this movie to like open season to like alpha and omega is there really much difference the only difference is more polish and better backgrounds overall and like uh, you know animation like overall i feel like they're the same movie just Reskinned. While well, the actual animation isn't actually so bad, there's decent animation, and at points there's time where I thought the animation was actually very good. It's just that, like, when you look at the characters, they don't know how to make human characters. It's so fucking sad. See you tonight. Sometimes I try stuff to get her to stay. Bro, you are not a human. Problem with Illumination is that, like, their animation overall is fine. It's just that they don't stand out from anyone. They are the bland of the bland. They have no personality. They have no characteristics that individualize their animation from anyone else. And I'm not trying to say Illumination is one of the only companies that share this mindset. People definitely share this mindset. It's shown all over. It's just that like with other companies like Disney or like Pixar, there were shades. There were shades of creativity, of artistic vision, of individuality. Like be before everything got so homogenized there were shades of them actually trying and actually caring about who they are and how they stand out from other companies but nowadays everything's so homogenized and it's so bland it's so disgusting now talking about music they outsource and they basically paid for a lot of pre-made music that was already popular in order to get them views. There's also a score going on in the background, but the thing is, the score doesn't actually match what the characters are doing or the intensity of the scene majority of the time. Like, it sounds like it's supposed to be climactic, but then you hear that goofy ass melody and you're like, dude, what the fuck? This ate it in with the voice acting, and I gotta say, it feels like nobody really cared for this movie. Like, it's so clear that none of these actors were actually very passionate about delivering these characters or bringing them to life. So, you just get a very bland story, very bland voice acting, very bland soundtrack, so what the fuck is this movie for? It's for money. As long as you make cute animals, people will go see it and they will bring their kids. I'm a prime example of that. Doesn't matter if the story isn't good or the animation is as bland as ever, it doesn't matter. If you can sell cute animals, you can sell cute animals. They never evolve because they never need to evolve. All they have to do is keep making the same shit. Sure, like add some brightness or like, change a couple animations to make it more expressive like in the mario movie there was very good lighting very good animations in that but overall the artistic vision is lost going back to the voice talent in this kevin hart is playing himself but as a bunny like 
why are we doing this? Inclusions like this make me very upset when they are the main character because you're just playing yourself. You're not even changing your voice. You're not, you're not like creating a character or bringing a character to life. You're just going for a paycheck and you can tell this whole movie just cliche and made for money. <laughs> oh yes, tiny dog. What the actual fuck is this? Now going into the story, which I gotta say, this story is lackluster as fuck. Fuck. I can see why they call it the secret life of pets because all the characters are one-dimensional and it feels like I learned nothing about them This movie has a fuck ton of filler and if you don't know what filler is I know you're not stupid, but let me just recap it real quick. Are you stalling? No, why do you think that? Let's have a long talk about why you think I'm stalling. Hey, congrats on being self-aware. Filler is like little side quests that are supposed to be little treats to pad the runtime of movies or media. They are in no sense the B-plot, but they are like cute little instances to where like, it adds no real substance to the main story, but you know, sometimes they're welcome if used well, which Secret Life of Pets doesn't use them well. Filler isn't always a bad thing and it can be welcomed. It's just that like when your movie is 70% filler, you have no movie. You have a 10 minute short and stop acting like you have more to say. If a movie has a lot of filler, it definitely shows they have no real direction of the story and they have no way to formulate a good story at all. And since I can't be asked to summarize this movie, I'm gonna let the movie summarize itself within one minute. Do you ever wonder where they go during the day? Do you know what? I just, I don't really care. Max, this is Duke. <gasps> Lucas is ruining our lives. I'm a cute little doggy. I, Katie knows I wouldn't do anything like this. Look at all these sticks. Ah, run! Ah. She just got me out of the pound. <clears throat> to take us with you. Ah. We're sorry. Can this be over now? <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, Duke. Thanks for coming to save me, Max. You need a lift? Yes! Hey! <laughs> there they are! <laughs> Max and Duke. Duke and Max. Aw, my boys. And if you're one of those people who are just like, yo, chill, it's just a kid's movie. Why are there adult jokes? It's obviously aiming at a general audience. Like, why is there adult jokes? Why is there things that only the black community or people who are invested into that community would get? Like, Kevin Hart says a lot of things that people, kids mainly, won't get. Are you in a better place? You and Ricky? Uh. <laughs> Yeah. You ain't never did nothing to nobody. Well, you bit a lot of people, Viper, so technically you might actually deserve this. This might be something that was long overdue. If you know, you know. Before I give my final thoughts, I just want to say holy product placement. Anyway, this movie is uninspired. It lacks an identity. It's being greedy as fuck because it's just using cute animals as a crutch. There's nothing else really drawing people in besides cute animals. The score is so annoying. The voice acting is just... It's so lackluster that it's surprising that it's even there. There's a lot of slapstick humor in the movie, which isn't necessarily too bad. It's just that it's very clear towards the end of the movie or towards like just looking at this movie in general, you can see it's a crutch. They don't know what to do with this movie. Kevin Hart is just Kevin Hart in the movie. I don't like that. And they animated a cat's asshole for no real reason. I gotta give this movie a solid zero. I gotta say there's nothing really redeeming coming back to this movie. I love Gidget, but like I'd love Gidget in a different movie. Like please make her separate movie to where she's having her best life because she deserves better than this movie. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going pups? It's a canine and I'm Bitch, you better not got dirty. I swear to fucking God.